Welcome to America's heartland, Bloomington, Indiana, home of the Indiana Hoosiers. Memorial Stadium will be jumping in anticipation of what we've got in store today. We're really looking forward to this matchup. You've got a team that's made its way into the top 25, now trying to pass an all-important road test. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on the winners of six straight, the Indiana Hoosiers. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Hoosiers will put it away to start the game. And he takes this from inside the five. And he did a good job bombing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. So Nebraska's offense is on the field for the first time today. And here comes the big fella, a staple of this aerial attack, Jesse. And he's a guy they can line up all over the field, David. There's matchups out there waiting to be taken advantage of. Yeah, and it's so nice to be able to do that. It makes it easy to play quarterback when you can feature a guy like this that's fast, big, and strong. And the explosiveness, the big gainer gets it to the 49-yard line. They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Right down the middle. Got his man downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Going up top on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Fadone. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. He's got it down the middle. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there. And still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. It's a draw. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. This offense wants to get out of the gate fast on their first drive of the game. Plus territory. They'll go for it on fourth down. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. Man, did he show some hops for that one. Some serious vertical right there. I tell you what, everybody in front of you, hey, I'll go by air if I need to. Good job getting in the air, getting the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A 70-yard touchdown drive. And he found his way to the end zone from the 7 to cap it. On the move from inside is 5. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. So Indiana's offense will have its first possession of the game. And it won't be easy to throw the ball down the field today, David, because both of these teams have locked down corners. I mean, these guys shut down half of the field. Playmaking cornerbacks that really can play man-to-man -man and lock down the best guys on the other side. Yeah, if I'm a quarterback in this game, I am taking a calculated risk if I'm thrown towards one of these two dudes because you're just asking to get picked off. At the 40, there he goes! And he's to the 48-yard line. That'll be good enough for a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to him again. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Ellison. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Getting some heat. 
They're trying to get to him. And he was winding his way all over the backfield, staying alive, staying alive, and finally he goes down. Man, this home crowd was so jacked up, so excited to finally get the football after giving up points on the first drive and having to be quiet. Now they're quiet again. How about the defense coming in here, shutting this crowd up early and doing their job? And the Hoosiers will call on their punt team. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Looking for a block. It's Lloyd. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well, Palmer. They executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. They have a first down at the 41-yard line. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and 10. Wide receiver coming across in motion. They'll run it from the gun. Running with power. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll give it to Johnson. Not a whole lot of room as he gets a couple inside the 30 to the 29. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Blasted as he lets it go. Got it in the middle. It's Nayer. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they are in the red zone with a first down at the 12. They'll keep it on the ground to the right. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He wants it all. Throw to the end zone. It's picked off. And that's the advantage right there of having your dime personnel on the field. You've got an extra DB. You've got an extra guy out there who's really good at covering. So for quarterbacks, you've got to be so good and precise with these passes because they've got speed in the back end. They're able to come away with the pick. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up. You can get a little bit more of a win. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Into a mass of giant bodies. We'll call it a one-yard gain to the 24. We'll see if they go back to the run here on third down. The play action fake. They're bringing heat. And he's going to be stopped just short of the first down. He tried to get it on his own. The Hoosiers line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30 yard line. Guys, this offense coming back out onto the field. The handoff to Johnson. Stopped after a pickup of four. Good run to get it out to the 34. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. Out of the gun. The running back has it. And after the tackle, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Lots of time left, and we're ready to get back to it and open the second period. These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will, third and short from the 45. Trying to make magic with his feet. Turns it on in midfield. 
Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. The Huskers have this offense rolling. Give to the back. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the left side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. To the air, it's Rayola. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that sack. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. It is perfect. And that will extend their lead even further. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, to your game after we update the nation on this one. Houston endured a hostile crowd and the challenge that always comes with playing away from Clutch City. And the Cougs came away with the win. It wasn't a blowout, but it is still a W. It's one game. You don't want to react too much either way. But I think both teams will leave this one with some things to work on moving forward. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. The deficit here is just 10 points, David, so a chance to answer here. Plenty of time left in this football game. No need to panic. This offense just has to put a couple drives together. And listen, the defense will get this back and get some stops following and get you the football game. And I think, I think here too, David, you have an opportunity to keep the pressure on the opponent. Yeah, they just went down and scored, but you score here, and this game spilled tight. You keep their feet to the fire, so an opportunity here to keep applying that pressure. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give them a first down. Wants to throw. It's Roar. Quickly to the tight end. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, he drops the throw. Trying to get to him. At the 35, he's loose. And he scoops his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. And the Hoosiers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll make the stop, and he gets four on the play balls at the 25. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. Trying play action. Got a man. It's green. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. Between the uprights, it's good. kick it away. 
He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Give to the running back. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Back to throw, it's Rayola. Got his man on the right. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Pressure coming. They get an up rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. That's a good example there of complementary defense. The DBs and linebackers are playing zone. They're playing their spaces, and they force the QB to, to have to hold the ball, try to work through his progressions, and then the pass rush. They win up front. Didn't help themselves much on first down. Let's see what they've got on second down from the 20. They'll go to the counter. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. This is a third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Yeah, and the defensive line, you know, third and long situations. I'm rushing the quarterback. You bring in the nickel, a little bit more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack on third down. The Cornhuskers will try to pin them back with the punt. He'll try to really get into this one. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. From the gun, the running back has it. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. A shot for the end zone. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Feeling some heat. And the quarterback is snowed under. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. The Hoosiers will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Back to pass. It's Rayola. He's got his man. No chance to run, but still a solid pickup on that one. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Takes the easy throw in the flat. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Still looking, and the pressure gets there, and down he goes at the 18. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The offense set for a first down play. Looking to move it through the air. Fires left. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. He's going to pass. Catch in the middle. It's Price. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Ellison. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. 
And the Hoosiers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. And they've been waiting for something good to happen with respect to getting after the quarterback, right? They're outside of the top 100 in the country in sacks per game, but finally now, you see they're generating this pass rush. Three sacks on the game so far. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting at. Unleashes one deep. Touchdown, Hoosiers! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Yeah, and the passing game comes through, man, and we need more of that in the second half. An extra point away from tying this football game. We trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm, but this passing game can continue to heat up. Look out in the second half. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. Splits those uprights right in half. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. The give out of the gun. Getting behind those pads and behind a stiff arm to get it out to the 27. They'll give it to Johnson. They'll knock him down, and that'll take us to halftime. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Thanks, guys. A first half that saw a little bit of everything there in Bloomington and a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dub. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at Memorial Stadium. We've got a good one going here in the third quarter, all tied up as he's set to kick it away. Coming out with it, it's Price. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do. We're just going to do it better. But then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense. We're going to find out here. The Hoosiers will send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. He only needs a sliver of daylight. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Offense set on first down. They'll give it to the back. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. From the gun, running back on the move. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Let's see what they do on third down. To the ground to try to move the chain. Nice job to pick up the first down and they'll spot it at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Banks. It's really nice when you're an offensive coach and you can basically attack the whole field. When you got an arm like this and you can just, boom, put it on a line, it's really nice to have that. They'll go to the ground. 
And the Huskers have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw. It's Rayola. He's got his man. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Still some work to do after that last completion at second down. He's looking to throw. Coming after him. No more time to throw. Quarterback is sacked at the 35. That's the second sack of the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm going to roll out away from him. I'm going to double team him. Let somebody else beat me. Not that guy because his speed off the edge is killing me. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. He's looking downfield to throw. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And he's brought down, and his defense gets the ball back for its own. And that is exactly how you draw it up. You get to the quarterback, but you get the football out. You hit him, you try to rake it out. Great job by the defense. Get the sack, get the fumble. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. And then a low-scoring game like this one, David, every possession is magnified. And I think more than anything, it just gets frustrating. And you got to put that behind you. you got to see what this defense has been doing to be so successful. Oh, now use it against them. Yeah, David, I think for a play caller, this is tough, right? It's like you have to have the perfect play on just to get a first down. In these types of games, I think you're just trying to get guys out in space. See if a dude can break a tackle. Maybe that generates an explosive play and it breaks this trend. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And the Hoosiers get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try the middle. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. Using his legs, it's black. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. Off play action. Grabbed over the middle. It's McCulley. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Off the bootleg. Wants to throw it. Finds his big tight end. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. They'll try to slam it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. This whole red zone offense thing has been a little shaky. They've been stopped twice already. Maybe they ought to try to score from deep. Getting some heat. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job with ball security. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. It is good! And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Auburn is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shame that might have been a little closer than Tigers fans wanted, but a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams, but boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. 
Ball security going to be paramount this time, Jesse. Yeah, and, and sense of urgency, too. They're trailing in this game right now. The turnover wasn't great. So, David, they really got to be able to put something positive together on this drive. Put something positive together. Be aggressive, but don't be reckless. Can't have any more of those turnovers. Finds his man down the middle. Fakes his man out. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Clock strike zero here in the quarter, and Indiana is on top. And as we switch ends of the field, let's take a quick look at the national rankings. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. Power football with the run. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The handoff to Johnson. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. The Huskers come to the line with a new set of downs. They'll try the run. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. They've moved to the 16, it's first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. They make the stop, but they give up five yards on the run. It's down to the 11. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They go to the ground. Oh, just left him flailing. Down to the three-yard line, and that's where they'll have it first and goal. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll start the return inside his five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution, too. Did a nice job out in the field, stalled a little bit once they got down to the goal line. So they just need to be a little bit more crisp here, dude. Yeah, and listen, I think the first part was the most important part. you got to put the drive together first to get down there. Now, when we get down there, focus on execution and getting six points. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. The Hoosiers will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And he's going to get it up to about the 29-yard line before he's brought down. First down here for the offense. They'll give it to Johnson. Defense there to stop him after a two-yard gain to the 31. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Might as well stick with him. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Movement here from the tight end. Running back searching for a hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. 
quickly out to the tight end. Net at all the makings of bug meat windshield, but how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? They're trying to get to him. Powers through the defender. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Cornhuskers are rolling down the field. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And he's brought down after a nice game. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. From the gun, running back gets to give. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. It'll be a draw. Shakes off the defender. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. Down to the 23 for this first and 10. And that's good enough. He wants to throw. Makes the catch. It's Johnson. They make the tackle, but he's got a fresh set of downs, and it's first and goal from the seven. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance, perhaps, to put it out of reach. Into the end zone. It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third and goal from way back there. Looking downfield, it's Rayola. They're bringing heat. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Huskers! With that score, it looks as if this bunch is about to go 6-1. and one. Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth-quarter lead. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Indiana, 13. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Indiana has the ball back, and the Hoosier offense comes out ready to go. He'll start this drive firing. Caught over the middle, it's Williams. And the Hoosiers racing to the line in the hurry up. And everything's gonna have to be downfield. That's a nice start to this drive, but they're gonna need to score, get the ball back quickly, and score again. Snagged in the middle, it's Price. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. They'll throw it on first down. Pocket starts to collapse. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. To the air, it's Rourke. Trying to get to it. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. On third and long, doesn't need to take the check down. Here's a throw downfield late. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He's going up top here late in the game. Can't find his man. It'll be incomplete, and that is a heartbreaker this late in the game. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And this one will be stopped for no gain. 
Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find its way to the goal line. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. If they can pay off this third and goal opportunity, man, oh man, those collars start getting a little tight across the way. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that lead grows even bigger. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Texas State went scorched earth in a double-digit win that might have been worse had they not sat the starters there in that fourth quarter. Total destruction by the Bobcats. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome, and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standings, fellas. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Indiana sends the offense onto the field. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. Looking for a man. It's Roar. Pressure coming. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running. Second down coming. And they'll spike the ball to try to save as much time as they can. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. Feeling some heat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. He wants a big play here late. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. All business today for this ball club. They come out, and they get the win. And that's all that matters. It's not always pretty. Um, you don't always do everything you want to do or check all the boxes. But at the end of the game, Jesse, you want that W. No doubt about it. They made the plays they needed to make in order to get this win. I thought the quarterback showed tremendous poise, good leadership throughout the course of the game. Defense made stops when they had to make them. So, right, there were some things that were going to need to clean up moving forward, but ultimately they were the better team today. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.